Welcome back to the Advanced Tactical Fighters Build Video Part 3. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, the plane's pretty much complete, uh, being taped up and everything else. Um, now we move on to installing all the electronics. So we're going to install the receiver, the servos, and the speed controller, and connect them to the motor, and basically get everything ready. Then after that, at the end of the video, we're going to join up to where I was today at the park and go over the maiden flights of these two planes. So let's get started. Um, Finishing the rest of the build, and then later we'll hit the maiden flight. Okay, I pretty much completed installing all the electronics in the Foam Fighter 23. So I just wanted to show you um, a quick layout of how everything fits inside the tray. Um, here near the back of the plane we have the uh, Spectrum uh, receiver, it's a 6 channel receiver. Um, kind of below that there's the 30 amp speed controller, super speed controller. And up front we have the battery tray. I created a little battery tray that's kind of set up at a, an angle. So you just slide the batteries in, you slide all the way in. Then you just plug it together, and then there's a little um, EPP stopper I had from made out of spare EPP, and I used some uh, magnets actually out of an old burnt up brushless motor. And these hatches, you just close them down. See the back one, you close first. Then there's a little wood tab that holds it, and then you just lock it in place with the front one. So that's how the Foam Fighter 23 um, all looks. Okay, I've pretty much finished all the uh, installation of the electronics for the Foam Fighter 22. Uh, it's very similar to the setup on the Foam Fighter 23. Again, we have the six channel spectrum receiver sit here in kind of near the middle. And right below the receiver, actually, I forgot to mention on the other plane, there's vents that um, basically vent the air out of the uh, inner fuselage to allow the heat to escape. Um, those vents vent into the main air ducts of the airplane. So hopefully, when the air is passing through, it'll let the uh, hot air escape out the vents through the duct there. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. But anyway, that's that. Um, the rest of the plane is set up pretty much similar to the Foam Fighter 23. Again, we have the battery tray up near the front. Okay, I had to grab a battery. Um, basically, the battery just slide right in. Let's see if I can do this one hand. There we go. Let's slide right into the battery tray. Push it down forward. Uh, if it's nice and snug in there, then you just connect the battery. And then again, we used magnets from an old beat up uh, brushless motor, and they're just uh, attached back to the magnets back here on the back. And it makes a nice light, uh, nice tight locking um, lid for the Foam Fighter 22. Pretty much that's it. Okay, we got the Foam Fighter 22 all finished. Um, this is going to be the first main flight. This is going to be the first throw in the air. Let's see how it goes. Bad for me. Yeah, 
Oh, we're picking up speed. 68, let me see that. Yo, man, you're getting a little close there, son. Okay, I'm gonna bring her in. And go around and uh, fly it landing. Almost lost the plane to the dog. <laughs> that would have been an unusual maiden flight. Okay. Uh, looks like she flies good. Um, other than the first flight when I accidentally had the flaps in the wrong position, um, I think she's good to go off the first throw. Okay, everybody, I got the Bone Fighter 23 finished. Um, it's been pretty windy all day today, but uh, we're still going to fly in maiden flight because hopefully the wind will be much for a maiden flight. So let's see how this thing goes. It's going to be the first throw in the air. Okay, that was the first maiden flight. Um, the wind looks like it was blowing it around a little bit because it's still pretty windy. Probably uh, gusts up to about 16 miles an hour. Um, but to me, it felt and kind of looked like it was a little bit tail heavy. So I think for the next flight, I'm gonna try and add a little bit of weight to the nose. And that also helps in windy conditions to make it a little bit nose heavy. So let me add a little weight and we'll throw it back in the air and see how it goes. Okay, I added about an ounce of uh, weight to the front of the plane to hopefully change the uh, center of gravity a little bit. So we're gonna try it, this will be a throw two. Let's see how it goes. Okay, um, looks like the flights uh, went somewhat all right, but it still didn't look like I had the control that I wanted. To me, it still feels like it's a bit tail heavy. So I think I'm gonna take it back to the workshop and do a little work on uh, getting it a uh, better balance. And also it felt, uh, felt very roll happy. So I think I can do a couple of changes or modifications to um, improve the stability of it on the roll. So let's go back to shop and uh, I think that'll wrap it up for today for the maiden flights. Okay, we're back in the workshop. Uh, the main flights I feel went fairly well. Um, so first, let's take a look at the F-22, FF-22. Um, Foam Fighter 22, I believe, uh, is pretty close to being dialed in. Uh, it appeared to fly fairly well. Everything was balanced and stable. Um, roll control was great. Um, the only thing I'm thinking, maybe I might uh, put a little bit bigger motor in it later to get a little more power. Um, it was clocking at about 67 miles per hour on the first maiden flight day. Um, the second day we didn't really clock it with the radar detector. But otherwise I feel it flies fairly well and it's pretty stable. So I'm pretty happy with um, the way it turned out and the way it's flying. So I don't think there'll be a whole lot of changes made to this one. Um, next up, Foam Fighter 23. Um, this one I think we're going to need to do a little work on. It seems to be very roll happy. Um, stability in the roll. Um, I'm not totally sure why yet, why it's doing that. I may try to add on some sort of vertical stabilizers um, running along the top side of the plane and maybe behind the prop. And there may be some, a couple other modifications, but I think we've got to do a little bit more testing and get this one dialed in um, along with the balance. I believe the balance was it's still flying a little tail heavy. So I think that'll come on in part four of the video. So let me get to the do some modifications to the Foam Fighter 23 and hopefully we'll get out there on a calmer day when there's less wind and we can get a little bit more accurate uh, detail on how they actually fly and be able to compare them back to back and see which one we like better. So tune in um, again for part four of this series and we'll see how it goes.